Chicho Arango. He is on a torrid goal-scoring pace this season. After last night's performance against Austin FC at America First Field, Chicho now has 16 goals in 17 games played this season. Already tied for his career high he set in 2022, and that took him 34 games to get there. You knew it was going to be a special night when it started with this shot from midfield. His 50th career goal in MLS play, second fastest active player to reach 50 MLS goals. He did it in just 79 matches. And then he completed his hat trick with the penalty kick in the second half. Just the second RSL player to ever record two hat tricks in a career. And his 16 goals this season is just one short of the RSL team record for goals in the season, which was set by Alvaro Saborio in 2012. He's come to a club that, that believes in him um, and that knows um, the difference that he can make, you know. Um, and so I think wearing the armband this year has definitely not only helped Chicho, because he's a, he's, a, he's a person that wants to take on responsibility, but has made our team better. Sabarillo. All right, Chicho, for MVP, why not, right? He's led RSL to its best start in club history with 33 points in 17 matches, the club is. And look who he's outscoring. Three ahead of Christian Benteke from D.C. United. Four ahead of international legends Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez. Chicho also has nine assists this season, which is fourth best in the MLS. And what better way to celebrate the three goals than with dad, right? We've seen him bring kids to the post-game press conference before, but on Saturday night, it was pretty special for him. He brought his dad in to join him for the post-game presser, had him take a seat and everything. How can you not like Chicho Arango? Come on. You are watching KSL Sports Live. Who's better than Real Salt Lake right now? With last night's blowout win over Austin FC, RSL now has 33 points in 17 matches, its best start in club history. And they've gone 13 straight matches without a loss, one shy of RSL's record for a single season. So much history made on Saturday night at America First Field, including from its top two goal scorers in the match. Chicho Arango had the hat trick, of course, as we saw earlier in the program. And Anderson Julio had the first half brace, just the third time in club history that two players scored two or more goals in the same match. RSL getting more goal scoring opportunities. Why? Well, because of how it's playing defense, putting immediate pressure on the ball, creating more turnovers and more shots in transition, like what we saw on Julio's second goal last night. I think just the whole team is is more aggressive, and and we know that it, we're gonna we're gonna be aggressive, and we're gonna have numbers around the ball, um, and it just makes it it makes it hard for teams to play when when as soon as as soon as we lose it, the nearest person presses, um, and it's immediate pressure. It's it's hard to play out of when when you're you know when you have someone running at you, it's, it's hard to pick your head up and find that first pass. All right, so now it's time for a break. The top team in the Western Conference will have the next 13 days off. When they return to the pitch, they will do so on the road against Montreal, who's 12th out of 15 teams in the East, and then against Sporting KC, the last place team in the West. But Pablo Mastroeni tells us this will actually be some of the most difficult football they'll play all season. There's a sense of like we've, we've done something, and the truth is we haven't done anything. And, and so it's that mentality when we're away that we're taking care of our bodies and that we're looking after ourselves um, because I think every game from here on out is, is going to be very difficult. I think teams are going to prepare for us differently than they, than they used to in the past. And so the onus is on us to be one step ahead. It's, it's so cliche, but champions are working when everyone else is partying, you know. Well, since I've been on the team, I think this is definitely the, you know, the, the deepest we've been. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting to be on this team right now.